monthly beneficiaries of Social Security, Retirement, Disability, SSDI, Survivors, SSI, VA, and RRB beneficiaries. This one right here is for you, and I'm pretty excited to get into it and discuss what is on this document and why it is actually pretty good for all of the beneficiaries that I just mentioned. Let's get right into it. Welcome, and thank you so much for joining me. If you're new here or if you haven't done so yet, please make sure to hit the subscribe button right down below the video as I'm back every single day in videos just like this one to help you out in any way that I can as I know this is a very difficult and confusing time and I have made the commitment to helping out everybody here on the channel in any way that I possibly can through these videos and delivering accurate, honest, reliable, and transparent information every single day. So please make sure to hit that subscribe button right down below the video and feel free to share this one or any others here on the channel with your friends, family, and social media Ask them to come over, check out some videos, and of course, subscribe. All right, thanks again. I really do appreciate it. Let's get into it and talk about <laughs> this document. All right, so all of us know we're getting into an absolutely dire situation right now with everything going on. The need for additional relief in the form of permanent raises for benefits like all the beneficiaries I just mentioned, uh, for fourth stimulus check, monthly recurring payments, and or universal basic income, guaranteed basic income, anything across the board, we don't really care how they get it to us. We just recognize we need additional relief on a monthly basis going forward. Here's the thing. It is getting really bad out there. I mean, so much is going on right now, but here's the thing. So many people are still struggling, and for some weird, unknown reason, it seems like Congress is acting like, um, we don't see anything going wrong. It seems like everything is fine and dandy. Well, newsflash, Congress. People are still struggling. If you don't believe me, feel free to read through the comments section and you can see it firsthand right here that there are still a lot of people out there who are struggling in a really bad way. And here's the thing. Not everybody in the country who is struggling right now even knows about this channel. That's why we want to get the word out to do everything we possibly can to help people out during this time. Well, here's the thing. Right now, we also recognize that Congress currently has this $3.5 trillion reconciliation bill opened up on the table and they are open for suggestions as to what should be added into it. So what I like to say is, well, play ball. That means, in other words, I have a suggestion for them, which I am laying out right here in this letter. This is actually a pre pretty good one. This one is specifically focused on all of the beneficiaries that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. Social Security Retirement, Disability, SSDI, Survivors, SSI, VA, and RRB. So with that being said, I'm going to bring my wife in now, Corey. She's going to read this letter to you, and I will catch you on the other side and we can run through some of the key takeaways out of this letter. And then once again, I'm gonna package it up just like the letters I sent out just the other day. And I'm gonna start sending these off to Congress and really hope to get some action on some of these things. Here's the thing. If we don't do something, we can almost guarantee we'll get nothing, right? So we need to do something. So with that being said, Corey, take it away and I will see all of you again in just a minute and we'll go through the key takeaways. On behalf of our community, consisting of nearly 300,000 older adults and people with disabilities, we are reaching out to stress the urgency of increased benefits for Social Security, SSDI, SSI, and VA beneficiaries. We understand the reform process is a lengthy one that takes considerable time and debate. However, we are facing a dire situation that calls for swift action and response. We are suggesting the following recommendations to be deployed immediately as an essential step to rescue tens of millions of older adults and people with disabilities. 1. Implement a $200 per month raise benefit to extend through the end of 2022 for all Social Security, SSDI, SSI, and VA beneficiaries. 2. Expand stamp benefits by doubling monthly benefits through the end of 2022 and ensuring all beneficiaries of programs listed above are eligible. And three, promptly work on reforming the above listed programs to permanently raise all benefits to a minimum of 100% of the federal poverty line. As you can see, our requests are simple and reasonable. As the president said while campaigning, no older adult or people with disabilities should ever need to live in poverty in America. Sadly, this is still the case for millions of Americans during the, this time and it is completely unacceptable. These people deserve to live with dignity rather than struggle to cover basic living expenses each month. We appreciate your time and swift action to make things right for millions of Americans. Thank you.
Alright, so there it is. As you can see, Corey just read this letter to you right there. As you noticed, right there in the in the letter, I wrote, this is an urgent situation and we need swift action. In other words, we can't continue to delay. This is getting absolutely ridiculous. We need action immediately. So I laid out three very simple action steps for them to take place for in order to get out a necessary relief for all of these beneficiaries and basically everybody that I laid out right there in the video or right in in this letter. So let's run through these really quickly. I brought back that infamous $200 per month raise. Now here's the thing. This was introduced back in early 2020. The reason I threw this into the letter is because we already know that it has support by a handful of very powerful senators, Democratic senators. They are the ones who can make this happen. Uh, Ron Wyden, Chuck Schumer, and Elizabeth Warren were the three main architects behind that, that $200 per month raise for all these beneficiaries. So basically what I'm saying in the letter is, hey, let's bring it back. Let's implement a $200 per month raise for all of these beneficiaries through the end of 2022. In that amount of time, you should be able to get a permanent raise uh, set up for all of these beneficiaries. That's a little, I mean, that's like almost a year and a half from now. So in that amount of time, they should be able to get something done, right? As far as permanent raises. So that was one of my requests is bring the $200 back. We know that it has support. Let's just get it done. I mean, we're struggling right now. People need some support right now. They're getting absolutely pinched by all of these rising prices out there on goods and services. This is getting real. I mean, seriously, we've got to do something. At a minimum, let's implement the $200 per month raise. Next, I said, let's make sure to double SNAP benefits and make sure that all the beneficiaries listed in this letter would also be eligible to receive them. Now, here's the thing. The reason I mentioned SNAP benefits is because all of us, we need to eat and drink, right? We need to eat and drink something. Now, here's the thing. If we could get SNAP benefits, everybody that I mentioned in this letter, basically all of the beneficiaries could be eligible for SNAP benefits and they were doubled as in a couple hundred dollars, like let's just say about 200 and, uh, well, it's about $300 a month is what it would come out to. It's about $300 a month. That'd be enough or close to enough for a person to eat on each and every month. Therefore, you can take your regular benefits from Social Security or any of these monthly benefits that you're getting right now and allocate those toward other things like rent, utilities, maybe clothing, maybe uh, put a little bit towards food. But the deal is you're not spending the majority of your even monthly check on actual food items and you can utilize that money for other things that you need right now, the necessities, right? Or just whatever you see fit. So I thought, you know, this would be actually very powerful as well to implement SNAP benefits and double them for all of these beneficiaries. And next, I said, basically, <laughs> take the next, what, 16 months or so that we have less uh, between now and the end of 2022. And I'm basically saying, hey, let's take that time. Let's implement some permanent raises across the board for all of these beneficiaries. Let's get it done. But between now and then, let's make sure we implement that $200 raise and the SNAP benefit for all of these beneficiaries to help them get by until a permanent raise can be put in place. And I'm saying, bring the permanent raise a minimum of 100% of the federal poverty line. Now, again, I totally understand. It should be far higher than that. But we already know that there's some proposals out there on the table right now suggesting bringing all these benefits up to 100% of the federal poverty line. So I thought, you know what? That might be a nice benchmark to just throw out there right now and say, you know, let's just get it done. This is like, this is nuts. I can't believe that we're still messing around with this thing when it's so obvious what we need to do. So anyway, this is my latest letter that is going to be focused specifically on all of the beneficiaries that I just mentioned. Let me know your suggestions down below in the comments. Is there anything that you want me to add into this? Is there anything that I really blatantly obvious that I missed out on? Is there something you'd like me to change? What do you think? Give me your comments down below. And of course, I can make those necessary changes. Otherwise, if you think it looks good, let me know. I'm going to package this thing up <laughs> and I'm going to get it out the door to Congress right away and follow up those other letters that I just sent out a few days ago. Remember that one? If you didn't see that uh, video, go back and check that one out as well. But previously over the last, I'm going to say like, what, five months or so? Yeah, probably five or so months, four or five months or so. I've written three other letters and I packaged those all up. Um, I actually brought a video to, the, uh, to you the other day and I've already sent all those out previously, but I packaged them up once again and I sent them over to Congress. So here's the thing, why not? Seriously, I mean, if we don't do this, we can almost guarantee that they're not gonna, I mean, obviously if, they, if we don't send the letters, there's no way for them to read them. But if we don't do it, we can almost guarantee that, you know, we're probably not gonna get any action. But either way, let's just do what we can and this is what I'm gonna do going forward. So. 
Let me know your thoughts and your suggestions down below. And of course, I can make those necessary changes, but I'll read through the comments and see what we come up with. So thanks again. And again, I'm just trying to do whatever I possibly can to help you out during this time. I know it's a tough time out there right now, and I just want to do whatever I can to reach out to Congress to continue to remind them that uh, we need some support right now, especially the lowest income and fixed income beneficiaries. So thank you once again. I appreciate it. I look forward to reading all your comments down below. Make sure to subscribe and please, Share this video with your friends, family, and social media. Thanks again. Enjoy your day, and I'll see you in the next video. I'll see ya.